Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Killer B. And this is my review on the CLT, the Infinite CLT 2. This is an RDA I picked up Tuesday, and I've been using it the last few days, and it's been excellent so far. I've been uh, using it on my Panzer Cologne, which I've got right here. And I've been uh, vaping on this Allison Vape Land Zombie Apocalypse with it for the last uh, day or so, which I'm actually really impressed. It's a strawberry strawberry cupcake flavor. Um, it's more like a strawberry cake flavor in my opinion, but uh, taste is subjective, so, but it's not bad. Um, definitely, uh, if you if you like strawberry, it's not a bad flavor. But anyways, this is what we're talking about. It um, comes in a really nice felt lined, really nice box. Now, this is not a clone. This is a uh, their own design, even though it looks like they've taken designs from several different uh, atomizers and combined it into one. Well, anyways, in the box you get some extra O-rings and a couple of pre-made coils with some silicone cotton. Yeah, I think it's just silicone wick. But they do give you some extra O-rings. They give you uh, one of these uh, keychain screwdrivers with both Phillips and flathead on it. Which I think a lot of people have five or six of those things. The Addy, and let's see if I can get this other, and that second drip tip. It comes in. Now, the drip tips are huge, look at that thing, compared to your average size drip tip. As you can see here. Big time difference. I have not found any other drip tips that'll fit this. I'm sure somebody will make one someday, but right now, I haven't found anything. If you know of another place that makes strip tips for this thing, leave me a comment below, and I'll check them out. But here it is. It's got air flows that go through the negative post. And it's got these airflow here on the side, which looks just like the, I believe it's a plume veil. And then the huge drip tip. And like I said, it comes with both. You get both these drip tips. The deck is nice. Four post deck. So you can come up with all kinds of little coils. I just took a couple of micro coils on here. This is at uh, 0.3. Does pretty good. I like it. And here's the inside of it. You twist the top to adjust your airflow. Let's see if I can get that apart, as you see there. That's for the large slots on the side. And it's got two different holes for the negative post. So if you want to cut off half your airflow here in the big holes, it'll open up a smaller hole on your side. Which is kind of interesting. Um, everything fits together really, really well on this thing that I've noticed. All the machining seems to have been uh, done very well on this. As I'm getting juice on my hand. There we go. It's got a nice little shape. Um, vapor production is not bad on it. Uh, like I said, I'm still kind of messing around with it. I've got a, like I said, I think that's a 0.3 or 0.2 build in it. And it seems to work fairly well. Flavor's pretty good. Um, one thing, I, the only thing I'm impressed with is it just, everything seems to fit together really, really well. Um, I've not had any issues with it yet. My, my only negative is drip tips, not being able to find a whole bunch of different drip tips for it because I like different colors and having different drip tips and messing around with stuff. But other than that, I like it. Um, price, I've seen anywhere from $40 to uh, $50 on the internet. Like I said, it fits together real well. Lines up nice. Looks nice on my Panzer box is really nice definitely seems to be made well um, and, and it works fairly decent if you got the money 
I say buy one. If not, get yourself something else. Um, I normally use this uh, toe baddie clone. I like it a lot. I didn't pay much. I think I paid like 25, 30 bucks for this thing and it works great on my clone sting right here, which works really, really well. Um, I had this checked. This has got a 0.1 voltage drop, which ain't bad. So I can't complain about that. But it's not bad. You know, like I said, the box is really nice. I definitely feel like I got my money's worth out of it for the price. I'll stick this thing back in the box. But yeah, I was uh, looking at this, and the other one I looked at was the Mutant X. And the Mutant X was uh, not bad looking. I'm going to probably eventually get one or at least uh, get my hands on one to play with and see what it's like. But uh, yeah, not a bad adding. Other than that, I really don't have a whole lot going on. Just uh, puffing away on this Alice in Vape Land. Uh, I got this the other day. I'm going to toss this in my box and let it seat for a week and give it a try. I've been tearing up the Alice in Vapeland. I got some other flavors here me and my wife are going to try. Other than that, not a whole lot going on. Just try to get through this week. And uh, try not to get uh, sick since their Ebola is coming everywhere. I don't know if anybody else has noticed that lately, but pretty soon it's going to be everywhere. But until then, I'm out of here.